G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back playing Horizon Zero Dawn on the PS4. And I have a bit of a guide for you today on how to unlock the bonus content or the DLC that you got if you happen to purchase or pre-purchase the deluxe version, or I think maybe even the standard edition had an armor set with it. Anyway, it's not immediately obvious how you unlock these things, but once you actually get into the game and you step into the shoes of an older alloy, you'll notice that you have tokens in your bag. Now it says these tokens can be traded for uh, various armor and weapons. So to do that, uh, you come to the trader Karast. Now he will be part of your very first mission you do as an older alloy. So it's pretty obvious where, where he is, but it is here on the map if you don't already know. So all it is a matter of getting to him uh, and then you come into his menu, go down to treasure boxes and you'll see he has a few purple boxes um, and all you have to do is trade your token for these boxes. Also pick up the free sample box while you're here and that'll give you some extra materials and things. So there is about nine boxes in total uh, so make sure you pick up all those. And then all it is is a matter of opening up the boxes in your uh, inventory. Now I recommend at first before you open up the weapon or the uh, or the armor boxes to open up the supply boxes or the um, the trader boxes. Now they'll have different items um, and materials to upgrade your storage and various other things. So it can be really helpful boost in uh, starting the game. But the main thing we're going to use, use it for now is we're going to go across to our crafting menu, come over to carrying capacity and upgrade our weapon satchel. This is important because if you don't upgrade your weapon satchel before opening the three weapon boxes, you will actually have to discard one of your weapons. But by upgrading this, we can open it all at once. Now we'll go through what each of these items do. The Kaja Storm Ranger is a set of armor that seems to be good for defense. Uh, it seems to be good in melee and for tanking long range damage. The Kaja Mighty Bow is fairly much like the standard bow with only a slight, um, slight appearance change and uh, slight stat changes. And here is what the Kaja set looks like. It's uh, pretty cool. I'm, I'm liking the, uh, the little like talisman things on your arm is a nice touch and the coloring is pretty nice. So next we come to the Banuk Trailblazer set and I absolutely adore it. I think it looks great. Um, by the looks of the stats on the armor, it looks like it's an elemental resist armor. Otherwise the bow is fairly standard. It just seems to have penetrating on fire shot arrows. As you can see, the antlers are really, really cool. I, I really like the look of this set. I actually favor this at the moment purely for the looks. Uh, I'm not worrying about the stats too much because it just looks, it looks damn cool. And as you can see, the bow here has a little uh, tail hanging off it, so that's kind of cool too. And then we come to the final set, which is the Nora Lookout set. Now this one has um, increases your stealth and your and lowers your enemy detection. And the long bow seems to have the best handling out of any bow so far. So I believe this is more built towards stealth gameplay or uh, sneak gameplay. It looks pretty cool. You kind of look like a Marowak or something, but the cloak is a nice touch and it looks very natural and it looks like you could be quite stealthy in it. It doesn't have the bright loud colors that the other two have. And the bow is a fairly simple one with just two tassels hanging off it, but otherwise quite a nice set and definitely far better looking than the standard set. So there you go guys, there's a quick look at the DLC, how to obtain it and what they do. Uh, I hope also this guide was good for you if you're still thinking about whether you're going to buy the deluxe version or not. In my opinion, it was only $10 extra and these outfits are fantastic. Now, I don't know whether you'll be able to unlock them further in the game. Maybe this is just a shortcut way to unlock them. But uh, once I know, I'll update you guys. Anyway, I hope this guide helped you out. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions or whether you know you cannot unlock these outfits without actually using the DLC, then leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Mm -hmm.